Hi everybody, welcome back to Amazing Tech to All. Today we're going to do an installation of Arch Linux on a virtual machine. Let's jump, jump right in. So let's go to Google and let's go in and type in Arch Linux. Let's go to the downloads page and here you will find place to directly download the ISO image. Let's see? that's not the file there we go we'll click here on the http right it'll take us to where we want to go and here we'll find the mirrors and you can select the country that is closest to you i'm going to be selecting south africa just any one of these it'll get me to the latest one the very top one is the one i'm interested in so i'll just download that let's see that's going to take about a minute or a bit over a minute and then we will insert this in one of our virtual machines and from there we will do the installation so let's give it a few more seconds i'll start i'll pause the video for now and then we can continue on afterwards so after we've created downloaded the iso file for arch linux let's create a new vm in our virtual box manager let's give it a name Arch, I'm quite lazy like that. Select the ISO, yeah. and then we will go to next. Yeah, we will turn up the amount of memory and the amount of CPUs. Let's make it four. Next, create a virtual drive. Let's can make that thirty gigs and select next and finished so we'll start the virtual machine let's get it going there okay the virtual machine is started and it'll take a few seconds to to boot or you can just press enter and it will then go through the process of initiating or initializing arch onto the iso that you've just uh, inserted into the virtual machine so once that process completes it will you'll be given a prompt like here and here we will run arch install let's go and this will give you a menu that you need to complete so the first entry which is arch install uh, language we'll leave it at 100 percent english locale here we will select the some of the locale in the keyboard we leave a standard the language we can change in my case to za and we'll go back then mirrors the mirrors you will select the area according to your region um i'll just go once again to the mirror that of my preference and i won't add anything else i'll just click on back here this configuration will use the partitions that's comfortable for us uh there we go we will use the butter fs and everything else will just leave as default and we can click on back again then on the bootloader we are happy with the grub bootloader the host name i'll leave as arch linux for now i'll set the root password and repeat the, the password we'll then create the next user add user i'll just make it user one second one as well there we go we'll make it a super user yes we'll confirm and exit now the profile here it's important we'll select the type in this case it will be a desktop i'm going to be selecting gnome and kde there we go go back one let's just see because under profiles type desktop yes 
ah i did not select them so there we go and then we press uh, press enter now the graphics driver will leave as normal and then the greeter will be gdm okay perfect this is back so the profile has been edited uh, network configuration we are going to select the network configuration uh, to copy from the current one um, and then the, I'm going, not going to do any additional packages the time zone I'm going to change to Africa South Africa or Johannesburg in, the, in my case and then I'm going to click on install uh, it'll give me a summary for the configuration and then I will just click on yes to continue this will take a few moments okay so as you can see the installation process has completed we are presented with a screen that says exit arch install okay so as you can see after the installation in virtualbox there are the screen doesn't auto scale to fill the whole screen so one of the ways to deal with that is to install the guest editions that comes with um virtual box i downloaded those guest editions from a website called downloads virtual box dot download dot virtual box dot org forward slash virtual box um and then i selected the version so if you had to go in you'll find your version of the, of the software that you have or virtual box that you have and you will just select the iso this is where i found mine you'll see uh, i've got i've actually downloaded a few of them i'm going with a with 7.0 not the beta version so uh you'll go to device and then select optical optical device and then click on choose choose the file in this case i'm choosing the 7.0 file and it's going to mount into my Arch Linux automatically. I will go mount and open. Yes. So now in this environment, in this uh, the file manager, I will right click on it and say open terminal here. So then I don't have to go on looking for it. I suppose I could see where I am by typing PWD, which says the media is mounted in run forward slash run forward slash media forward slash user one v box right so we are going to run this command sudo dot forward slash v box linux run it's going to do the installation it's going to ask me for my sudo password which said earlier and then within a few moments once it applies all the tools to it, it may require a restart. Uh, in this case, it seems like we do. We'll type in restart. And let's see that the virtual box comes back with uh, all the features that's necessary for it to run, to scale its graphical interface to the size of the window that is provided by virtual box there we go it auto scales to the full size we'll see now type in the password okay it hasn't scaled yet let's minimize it maximize it again so still not okay we'll do some more testing on maybe it's worth trying one package just click on here one of my favorite packages which is ABN Live. Let's type in the password and let's go and find all the dependencies and download it from the repository. Let's 
Okay, empty and live. It's there. Installed. Perfect. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.